What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. I'm not going to work on it today, but I just wanted to show you what I got a while ago. I actually got this project the same time and from the same guy that I got the vintage, quote unquote vintage, Briggs and Stratton racing go-kart that I'm going to be putting that engine on. That one right there. That was only $50. I um, decided to pick it up. It's a vintage go-kart frame now i say vintage but the reality is is that i have no idea when this thing is made i could only assume based on my experience and based on the type of accessories this thing has and the type of metal that it could have been made somewhere between the 50s and the 80s that's it there's a lot of details in this thing that make me assume that it was that it's at least 30 40 years old now it goes without saying, but if anybody out there has ever seen a go-kart frame like this or knows what, where, and when this thing came from, please let me know because I really do uh, genuinely want to know more about this thing. All right, so first things first, this thing, when I got it, did not look like this. It actually had much more stuff on it. Um, mostly, you know, cable lines for the throttle uh, or for the brake. It actually did have front tires, but since they were aluminum, uh, I decided to put it on the racing go-kart because I need them more on that one than this one. The reason why I assume that this thing is as old as I think it is, is for a few factors. One, the type of metal that's used on older things. The reality of it is, if anything that's made in the 50s, 40s, even 60s, the type of metal they use was much more thicker and much more dense. Another factor that makes me assume that it's old is the pedals. If you could tell, I've never seen this type of pedal uh, ever uh, in any of my go-karts. They usually have this style, which are common on shifter carts, or these, which are common on regular go-karts. So they're either homemade or that's how they came in factory. The turning system looks like it's been uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's been changed over the past few years because I could, I can't really picture this coming out of the assembly line exactly like this. So it looks like we have some some battle wounds there, a new turning system, uh, I mean a new adjustment system with this big, big, huge turnbuckle. Um, this actually looks like it was like that from the start. I don't know. I could, I don't know. It's questionable. But the spindles do look original. Uh, pretty simple uh, pretty you know it looks period correct the steering wheel has seen better days but it's still uh, it's still usable I wouldn't want to drive this thing for uh, without gloves but yeah looks like it has some seat posts uh, where the seat rested on uh, that somebody cut off unfortunate but not a big deal engine plate looks like it held some sort of small engine this was definitely done after it was bought and these look like they were also huh if you could see the holes are kind of mallard i mean it looks like they didn't really drill it out properly but without those holes i don't know how the engine would have been held on maybe this is a maybe this is like an after installed plate who knows but the part that makes me question the validity of how old this thing is, is the brakes. Now, when I got this, it actually did have the whole brake assembly, but for safety reasons, mainly because if this is as old as I think it is, the brakes would have been made from some sort of material that is very deadly to humans, uh, such as asbestos or you know any other of the insane amount of chemicals that were allowed to be used in things like go-karts for kids back in the days so uh, for safety reasons i had to take it out also the brakes weren't in the best condition i mean even for wall art it would have been considered trash so i just threw it away um, not going to use drum brakes on my go-karts um, mainly because i've never seen drum brakes on a go-kart i mean i've seen i mean i've used this type of drum brake if you want to call it a drum brake I mean, to me, a drum brake is something that expands from the inside out, 
to create create friction which inevitably stops the go-kart but up until I had this one I've never seen that type of system on a go-kart so that is that's the my main reasoning for why I assume that this thing is as old as it is but here is my dilemma with this project I don't know how to go upon uh, restoring it on one hand I could put new tires, new rims, new steering wheel, new seats, new uh, engine, Predator 212, uh, most likely. But on the other, it kind of feels blasphemy to put all this newer stuff on a go-kart that potentially could be as old as my dad. If I do find out that it is as old as I think it is, I kind of want to go period correct uh, things on it, such as a flathead Briggs and Stratton uh, engine. I really wanted to make this video mainly to show you guys wh uh, what I had uh, because originally I just thought I'm gonna hang it up, make it look like wall art, but I literally have no place for it. Just wanted to throw this video out just because it's really cool and I thought it was very interesting. Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what I should do with it, let me know. I will definitely follow up on them. Peace out guys, see you in the next video.